My name is Zida Hursheed and today I am going to talk about modem. Here are the contents of my topic modem. In this video I will discuss the introduction, key components, classification, working types and all about modem. Uh, let us see the introduction of modem. So basically first of all what is modem? Uh, word modem comes from modulator demodulator. It is a hardware device that converts data from a digital format for communication directly between devices with this specialized wiring. So modem modulates and demodulates the signal to encode or decode the digital information or the transmitted information. For example, uh, we will see uh, it works in uh, telephone lines and uh, radios. Hence, the goal is to produce a signal that can be transmitted easily and decoded reliably to reproduce the original digital uh, signal. Here are a few images of modem. You can see a cable modem. Next is what is modulation and demodulation. So modem is that equipment uh, which, which can perform both modulation and demodulation. So um, when digital information converts into analog signal, it is modulation and vice versa in case of demodulation. So modulation is the process of influencing data information while demodulation is the process of recovery of original information at distance and form of carrier. The key components of modem. Key components are as follow. Transmitter. First is transmitter or a modulator. Transmitter or modulator is a device that perform modulation. So the transmitter uh, combines the information signal to, uh, to be carried with the radio frequency signal and then it generates the radio waves and which is in turn called as carrier signal. Uh, uh, receiver. Receiver or demodulator. It is also an electronic circuit that is used to recover the information content from a modulated carrier signal. And the uh, uh, second is control unit. Control unit in modem handle uh, the signals to co coordinate the communication. Last one is power supply. Now let us discuss the classification of modem. Modem is classified on the basis of range, line type and also on the basis of operation mode. So uh, on the basis of range, modem is classified as short haul, voice grade and wide band. Short haul modem. Short haul modem, we can also say that limited distance modem. And it is, it is that kind of device that is extend, the, uh, it extend the transmission distance between the terminals and computers. And it is connected through private lines or uh, network. And it can also be used if the connection length is uh, longer than 15 kilometer. And uh, it has further two types, analog modem and line drivers. Next is voice grade modem. Uh, in previous short haul modem is distance limited, but here is no distance limitation. Voice, um, band mo uh, voice grade modem are designed for the transmission of digital data over ordinary telephone lines. These modems are often expensive and uh, their tuning is also very knowledgeable. And the wide band modems. Wide band modems have a large bandwidth capability they are used in large volume telephone lines and in multiplexing. Multiplexing means that multiplexing is a method by which multiple analog or digital signals are combined into one signal. And wideband modem is also used in computer to computer links. Now, um, on the basis of line type modem, on the basis of line type modem is also classified as a dial up and a least line least line or private modem least line least line modem uh, also called private line modem because it is designed for uh, use in private communication channel it uses dedicated uh, digital and point to point line for data transfer most of the digital lines require four wires four wires uh, two pairs and it may also uses either pair or several if the if the medium is telephone network then uh, its characteristics are granted but uh, if uh, medium is radio transmission then uh, it quality is uh, as that of uh, switched line these these uh, line modems are often uh, very high speed modems 
Next is a dial-up modem. Dial-up is a form of internet access that uses the facilities of PSTN. PSTN is a public switch telephone network and it is established to connect uh, connect to internet service provider as a connection in, of internet survivor uh, internet service provider so dial up connection use modem to decode audio signal into data to send to router or to computer and four wire four wire dialing is expensive so two wire links are established here uh, you can see a dial up and a least line modem in this picture Modems are also based on the uh, operation mode, half duplex, full duplex, and simplex. Now, what is half duplex, full duplex, and simplex? In the uh, full duplex mode, the signal is sent in both directions at the same time, and both devices transmit signal at the same time. But uh, in case of half duplex, signal is uh, sent in both directions, but one at a time, and both devices can transmit the signal, but one at a time. Uh, in full duplex um, mode, signals are transmitting at the same time, but in half duplex mode, it uh, signals transmit in a particular time. So in half duplex, uh, data loss may occur, but in case of full duplex, because signals are transmitting at the same time, so there is uh, no loss of data. And another case is simplex mode. In this mode, the communication is unidirectional. Modems are also based on synchronization. The modems that operate up to 1800 uh, basis points, then these are asynchronous. Now what is asynchronous modem? Asynchronous modem can be connected in different options to communicate, uh, uh, to communicate media. These modems use two frequencies for transmission and another two frequencies for receiving. And they also use two or four wires and switched or leased lines. Now we are going to discuss the working of modem. You can see in a diagram how an analog signal is converted into digital signal through telephone line. Modem is used to send digital data. The sending modem demodulates the data and the receiving modem demodulates the signal. And um, Back as it demodulates the signal back to the digital data. So simply a modem act as a digital translator, taking an information signal from your cable fiber or phone lines and making it accessible to your computer. So uh, this, this is the whole working process of modem. Types of modem. Modems are of two types, internal modem and external modem. You can see in a pic uh, an internal and external view of modem. Let us compare the internal modem and external modem. Modem that plugs into an expansion slot within the computer is the internal modem. It is within the computer. This modem is within the computer and cannot detach from it. And its installation is very slow and uh, because it is within the computer, so no additional cable is required. But in case of uh, external modem, it is external modem is a network device and it 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 is attached externally and we can easily detach it from the computer and its installation is very quick but an additional cable is required here are the further example of external modems x2 modems uh, v90 modem isdn modem dsl modem cable modem X2 modem delivers data up to fa up to uh, 56,000 bits, 56,000 bits per second, and uh, offer faster internet access. And V90 modem, uh, V90 modem transmit data at uh, only 56,000 bit per second. And ISDN modem, ISDN modem send digital data and information from computer to uh, ISDN lines, and also receive data from ISDN lines. And last one is DSL modem, DSL modem and cable modem. So DSL modem is a device. It is used to connect computer uh, or router to telephone line, which then provides connection to the internet. And uh, cable modem, cable modem is a network type that provides bi-directional data communication. 
and these are also used to deliver a broadband internet access in the form of cable internet so basically the modem the, the routers of wi-fi we are using at our home contain a dsl modem here is a picture of v90 isdn and dsl modem Um, now, uh, functions of modem. So, functions of modem include error correction, data compression, flow control. Error correction. Error correction means uh, sometimes the information transmitted between a modem may get uh, damaged or lost. So, modem use error correction, which is the most important function of modem. Data compression. In order to reduce the amount of time modem takes to send data and to cut down of error in signal, modem uh, need to employ data compression. Data compression technique reduces the size of signal needed to send to the required data. Flow control. Modem send, speed, uh, modem send uh, information at a different speed. So it's necessary for a faster modem to slow down. So the slower modem can catch up. So modem also manages the data transmission. Um, here uh, it balances the, flow, balances the flow control. The our last topic is, our last topic is modem security. Uh, modem security Mod modems raise a number of security concerns because they create link between your computer and outside the world some of the modem may have built in security software to protect your computer from any damage and a router if you uh, take a router then the router may enhance the security and provides your system that is highly secure so this video was all about um, uh, modem thank you for watching this video